Today I'm heading to one of my favorite restaurants in New York, STK, where I'm meeting with an actress who has had the role of a lifetime that actually changed my life. Susan Lucci, Erica Kane from All My Children. America Kane. America Kane. America Kane. America Kane. <laughs> and her one and only husband, Helmut Huber. And they both have a charity that's near and dear to their hearts. You know, I followed the show since day one, obviously. And, um, you know, there was that pivotal scene in Erica Kane's life where she got to be a model at Lincoln Center. Yes. And I remember as a child sitting there watching and saying, I'm going to be just like that. And then I watched Diana Ross and Mahogany, and I was like, I'm in this. So you literally have changed people's lives, not just mine, but people's lives. Oh, thank you. That's just a wonderful story to changed, hear from changed you. Changed my life, too. And, and changed <laughs> all its life. Exactly. You met in a restaurant in Garden City. You were waitressing, yes. and you were the executive chef. That's the, correct. At yeah. the Garden City Hotel. Garden City Hotel. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you've been together ever since. Well, I was in college. And I just thought he was a very attractive man, but um, older man, <laughs> attractive older man. But you've been very private with your life, and and I think that was one of the reasons for doing your book, All My Life. It was really uh, our son who said, "Mom, I think you should write a book because everybody knows Erica Kane, but nobody knows you." And also, he said a lot of the girls that he dates, once they know I'm his mom, they want to know my story. They want to know how did I do it and how do I do it. And I thought, this is a great opportunity to speak to, because I hear from people all the time that it's multi-generational. Absolutely. Who have been watching. And uh, that's very exciting and very unique kind of an opportunity. Yeah, it is really interesting, because that character really does speak to every generation. Mm -hmm. and. She was kind of bitchy back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, she still goes at it with Brooke every once in a oh, while. Oh, yeah. But, but it was interesting because all through my life, my career, I've been an, an All My Children fan, a Pine Valley fan. Mm. And every time I mention your name, there is not a person that, I, that has met you that has a negative thing to say about you. So, Helmut, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Real occasionally sweet. she will bring Erica Kane home. You know? <laughs> I mean,. And I say, honey, you're not at work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, let's talk about why we're here today. And you are the star of today, really. Absolutely. You know, um, well, facing Let me a get me... No, exactly. Let me myself up here. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it up. This is your moment. Facing AFib, you know, really life-threatening. Well, it was very really shocking to me. But, you know, I needed a, a small surgical operation on my shoulder. And the uh, doctor said, you know, you need to have a physical exam so we can go ahead and do it. I says, fine. Uh, I went to my doctor and I did the EKG and the, the nurse and the doctor comes in and, and he looks at the whole thing. He says, oops, we have a problem. I says, what do you mean we have a problem? You know, you have an irregular heartbeat, just like that. I says, what do you mean? So he showed me my previous uh, EKG from 1997 and then from 1999 and, and he showed me the whole lines and all this. And, I was shocked because so, I had no symptoms, none whatsoever. So you didn't get a lot the dizziness, of people, the shortness None of this, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and I called Susan right away at work, you know, and uh, she went right into action to find the best uh, cardiologist, you know, to, to go and see what's what. And this I mean, was 10 years ago you found yes. this. Yes. A little over 10 and, years ago. And I mean, mm -hmm. there you have, let's say, facing AFIP.com where you can go and, and, and get some knowledge and all this so that you can ask intelligent questions to your doctor. Right? And you can take, if you choose to, you can take a little test right there and see if you have any of the uh, reasons to go and find out more for yourself and take care of yourself. Uh, if you have um, an, an irregular heartbeat, which is really what AFib is, atrial fibrillation. First of all, 2.3 million Americans exactly. have it. And if you are diagnosed with AFib, you're five times more likely to get a stroke. If that stroke comes from AFib, you are twice as likely either to have that be a fatal stroke or even more debilitating than a normal stroke. So suddenly we were thrown into this serious situation. But now with AFib, facing AFib.com, you can get all the information you need. And I always felt that it would be good. I go with Helmut to as many appointments as I can, and I think it's a really good thing to go with your loved one if it's not you or if it is you to have a loved one come with you because you have an extra pair of very loving caring eyes and ears that may just hear things uh, a little differently 
Well, what? I thank you for being here today and contributing to Cause Celeb. This has really been extraordinary for me, and, and I hope we get to share all this with everybody. Thank you so much, Philip.